Off Word Sports, Mikey B, early morning. Thinking about the 76ers. I'm thinking about Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. It's supposed to be a stat based channel, but we got to go off the news that's coming. I got to give it to you. Apparently, had a little spat with the coach. Guys, this wasn't a little spat. For it to come out, anyone that's played any sports, for it to come out like that, you can see a little verbal one, two, you know, between a coach and a player, and people, you know, it, it, it'll de escalate and go away. This sounded like Jimmy Butler um, had a full on, you know, paragraph of words for the coach Brett Brown of the 76ers who's done a great job in my opinion with the clientele that he has to work with you got to remember that this team although they appear great in my opinion are overachieving Joel Embiid is a top 10 center does that get you to a championship now no look at what the Warriors and Sacramento Kings did last night look at the Portland Trail Blazers Nurkic, I'm going to do another video on a European invasion because guys, folks, American players, wake up. I mean, I, I, let me let me get back on topic. It's an invasion. They're killing it. But Portland has McCollum, Jimmy, uh, Damian Lillard, uh, Nurkic at the center position, who, who people may argue is a top 10 center. Joel Embiid is louder, more flashy, but as far as putting the work in, Nurkic can do that. Yet, they don't get as much scrutiny as the Sixers because you know why? The Sixers are on the East and it's a weak conference and they're expected to win this. Uh, the difference between the two is one that one has a better three-point sh uh, shooting advantage on the side of the Blazers and the Sixers do not. Back to Jimmy Butler. So Jimmy Butler was the X-Factor. Why I brought that up is because the X-Factors. You got Jimmy Butler now, who comes in as the third All-Star. Need three now, right? Need three All-Stars to win. Brought over from Minnesota, had problems there. Brought over from Chicago Bulls, had problems there. Let's get into the stats real quick, okay? Is Jimmy Butler worth this headache? So I did a little statistical analysis for Jimmy I didn't want to necessarily look at career averages, but I had to, right? Right now, career averages, again, soft years because he hasn't been really the main man and had some injuries. 19.1 points a game, 4.8 rebounds, and 3.6 assists. Okay? 19, I'll give him five. 19, five rebounds, let's go four. Four assists, rounding up. Okay, 19-5 and 4. Not bad. Not bad. I did a search. Jimmy is a guard forward in the league. He's over. They're listing him at 6'8". 232, 6'8". Born in 89. 29 years old. On the wrong side of 20. I mentioned, I did a previous video on how you can't wait any longer. Age is not your friend. Age is not your friend anymore. These young guys are coming straight out, ready to buzz balls. A perfect example of that, a guy who I said was going to be dangerous, Luka, Larry, Bird, Donchick. Now, let's get into the next point here. Jimmy, this year, and by the way, that's his averages for this year. Excuse me, his averages for this year with the Sixers is 18 points, okay? He's averaging near five rebounds. His assists are a little bit down. He's closer to the three, so I'll give him three assists per game. One and a half turnovers per game. Two steals per game. Very consistent. Vimy's very consistent. His three-point percentage is actually one of the highest of his career, if not the highest. 38.8% from three for Jimmy Butler. So he's taking advantage of the big guys, Simmons and Embiid inside. Bring attention. Simmons can't shoot, but if he gets inside 10 feet, he is still a dangerous Tim Duncan-like player with some of his movements. So he's taking advantage of that. It's down from a point percentage from last year, right? Minnesota, 21 points. Minnesota, uh, his first year, 22. And his highest point per average was with the Bulls in 16-17, averaged 20, 24 points a game. Okay? 
But when you compare this gentleman, all right, when you compare this gentleman to other folks in the league, all right, I'm going down the list of forwards over 6'8". I know he's a guard forward, but I just guard forward, I go with the forward side because he's over 6'8". Kevin Durant, 28.5 points per game. And he has a lot of players that need that, that, can, that put up shots. Okay, they're just very efficient. He has Curry. He has Thompson. He has a lot of players that put up shots. Anthony Davis, 28.5. Got to average that on that team. LeBron James. LeBron James, 27 points a game. Okay, I should go down the whole. I sh I, I, let me go back up real quick. Apologize, made the video long. I got to do the whole thing. Durant, 30. 28.5 points per game. Seven rebounds. Six assists. A high three and a half turnovers. Kevin, what are you doing there? One block. 36% from three. 50% field goal percentage. I'm going to skip over Anthony Davis this time. LeBron James, 34 years old, 27 points a game, 8 rebounds, 7 assists. He's another 3.5 turnovers a game. Mm, these guys got to watch out. Kawhi Leonard, 27 points a game, okay? 7 rebounds, okay? 2 steals, only um, 2 points, 2 turnovers a game. Paul George. Keep going down. 20 points per game. Uh, Giannis Odebakemko. I'm sorry. Paul George, 27 points a game. Giannis Odebakemko, Greek feet, 25, 26 points a game. Blake, let me skip Blake. Tobias Harris, the team that they alluded to that, that Jimmy Butler was supposed to go to. Okay. 20, he averaged more than Jimmy Butler. 20 points per game. Okay, this is, I'm going through the top 10. By the way, Julius Randle, I told you, I told you something. Julius Randle, career year at 20 points a game, by the way. 20 points a game for Julius Randle. I'm going to skip LaMarcus Aldridge, by the way, who people are sleeping on. He still averages about 20 points a game. Danilo Ganelari, who I think is, people forget Danilo is the first coming of Luka. Um, it was, barring no injury, he's averaging 19.6 per game, and Luka Doncic averaging 19. Here goes Jimmy Butler at the 14 slot, averaging 19 points per game this year uh, for the 76ers, and he's not under contract. So you go up, you got 13 other guys better than you. You're not even a top 10 guy from a statistical pr perspective when you look at points. Okay. I do like your turnover ratio. Actually, that let's see what his turnover ratio is. It's pretty low for Jimmy. Ooh, I lie. He's at 3.6 turnovers a game, okay? So it looks like when you average over 20, you know, you're going to average because you got the ball in your hands, you're probably going to touch three and a half turnovers per game. The, my problem, you don't have it under contract yet, and you're causing static, and you're trying to get under, under contract for next year to get paid the big bucks, your top... 14 or 15 player in the league at 29 years old and you want that 100 you know plus million dollar contract right how are you going to get it with all of this negative energy i want to give you somebody who doesn't really give that much negative energy as as, as what is shown on the media a 34 year old by the name of carmelo anthony who is not defensively as capable as jimmy butler but it appears is out of the league right now. Out. Out of the league. Do you know why? I'm going to continue down these stats, okay? It's going to be a longer video. Stats, stats. TJ Warren averages 18 and a half game at point per game. He's close to you. TJ Warren, the guy who I said the Sixers should have got with Trevor Reza and Jamal Crawford from Markel Fultz. 18 and a half per game. Kyle Kuzma. 18 points per game. You see where I'm going here? 23 years old, 25 years old. Harrison Barnes, 26 years old, on the right side of 20, in his prime, my opinion. 18 points per game. Chris Middleton, 27, 18 points per game. Skip Louis Markin, who's having a pretty good season. The guy you left, Andre, Andrew Wiggins. By the way, guys... How, you th would think Andrew Wiggins has been in the league for 20 years. He's 23 years old. 17 points per game. It is a disappointment, but he's 23 years old. He could be a senior coming out of college. And Jimmy Butler is talking here. Be careful. Let's keep going down. Brandon Ingram, 16. 
Okay, Boyjan Bundalovic, 16. Again, guys over 6, 7. Jason Tatum, 16. Okay, let's keep going down. Uh, Aaron Gordon, oh, I'm surprised at this one, 15 at 23 years old. Pascal Saskam, 15. Okay, these are fifth or sixth options. Some Pascal's like a fifth or sixth option on his team. I hate to rant. I'm ranting. I don't know it's 10 minute video. I gotta, I gotta shut this off. Jimmy, calm down. Calm down. There is talent on the bottom half that will be coming in the free agency that can get paid and produce just like you are. Okay? I will give it to Jimmy Butler. He is clutch. He is a clutch player. He has intensity. That was intensity showing. But I'm on Jimmy Butler's side for his money right now. This is me, Jimmy Butler fan, for the money. Shut up. Shut up. Get paid. Then you can do the Jimmy Butler thing that you were doing before. Get paid. You're hurting your pay. And you are an av above average player, but not a superstar. You're not. You're not a superstar. And there's other talents here. You want me to keep going down? Evan Fournier, 15 points a game, okay? Jabari Parker, who is on the trade block, 15 points per game, okay? Rudy Gay, old Rudy, 32 years old, 15 points per game. Keep going down. Carmelo Anthony, even though he's not playing, you know. 14 points a game. I mean, there is talent here. Terrence Ross. I should average a lot more than this. 13. I'll stop there. Kelly Oubre. No, not really getting that many touches. 13 points a game. There is talent all across the board down here. Tad Young, 30 years old. Uh, 12 points per game. You're like, dude, that's like seven, eight points off of me. All I'm saying is, by if you look at the per minute average and what they do, if they had the minutes and shots you had. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen if they get the green light that you got? Jimmy, I love you, man. You don't know who the hell I am. You don't care. All I'm saying is secure the bag. Secure the bag. Off work sports, I'm out. Just giving you some stats. Hey, it is what it is. Let me split it around. NBA.com. It is what it is. Peace. I'm out.